We're going to go to the configs, and this is under the config folder of your Minecraft instance, and you want to open up your Draconic Evolution config. I'm going to edit with Notepad++, and that's the one we're going to share, guys. All right, so I'll show you where this is. Uh, let me add a screen region so you guys can all see what's going on. This is one that probably should get, uh, should get a bit... Yeah, we'll do it like that. Perfect. Give me that. All right. Hopefully you guys can see this okay. Uh, maybe I'll drag this underneath, not gameplay, but there. Perfect. All right. So now that we're in the Draconic Evolution config, time for some development time. You scroll down a little bit ways down here, and the, the values of what you're looking for are this right here. If true, the 3D tool models will be replaced with 2D textures. True. If true, the armor of the original vanilla 2D model instead of the new 3D models. True. There you guys have it. There are your two config options that you need to put as true, and that is client side, by the way. So you don't have to have it on the server. That is what you need to do, by the way. And Christopher, thank you so much for that host. Does that make sense to everyone? If true, the 3D models will so be replaced be with standard two. No, it needs to be true. If true, the armor will use the original vanilla 2D model instead of the new 3D models. Oh, 3D. Right? So you need to make these two values I gotcha. true. Okay. Got it. You guys got it? Awesome. Mm -mm -mm. No, that's a Notepad++. Plus Plus. Highly, highly recommend that, by the way. Highly recommend um, that. Notepad++, Plus Plus, also known as a uh, pen, pen. paper. Do, 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 do. Nice. So there you guys go. I hope that was uh, satisfactory. I know I have any idea how to do anything. Oh, God. <laughs>